Today we're taking a look at this, the Can-Am Defender Limited. So it's got the HVAC, the heater, um, auto temperature controlled, insulated headliner, door panels, uh, firewall. We'll give you a walk around and show you some of the features that it has and uh, why it's good for you know inclement weather. We took it to the mountains of Idaho to put it in the coldest temperature we could find locally and uh, get a real feel for how it works and you know make sure it's it's up to par. Okay before we take off I want to show you a couple things inside some good features about this Defender and any Defender. Um, up here a little glove box. This one actually has a 12 volt um, USB ports in there two of them so great for charging your phone and keeping out of the elements. There's those vents there's four vents total on the dash and two up here on the windshield that act as a defroster. Got a wiper with water so you can uh, wipe that windshield. Cup holders. Um, the center seat comes down has some cup holders in it too. This is uh, one of those things we like this uh, glove box. It's not real spacious but what it does have is you can pop it out and take it with you. Unless you, uh, you know, put your lunch in there or something, you want to take it along. There's the uh, floorboard area. There's a parking brake that um, a lot of vehicles don't have. You just press on the brake pedal, click this into place. There's a little coin holder or another little cell phone holder or something winch operation, tilt wheel. There's your heater vents for, um, I guess that's the intake for your heater. Again, glass windows. The, uh, the one thing you gotta do is be careful when you take your seatbelt off that you don't fling it up and hit the glass. We've done that several times today. And the, the back cup holder goes down also. Spacious area back here. Here's some of that sound deadening insulation. It's up top too. This unit doesn't have the stereo system, but you can see the cutouts where you would mount all that stuff. A dome light, which is cool. Those are always handy. And the rear windows open, they're just like a wind wing. They open manually front windows though roll up and down electronically right there pretty cool uh, even the uh, doors are well insulated I mean they're heavier than they are on some Jeeps and trucks but um, okay one more the front window tilts up so you get a hot day or something like that you want to open that up that tilts up A lot of good features on this Can-Am. Winch, winch bumper. So you can tell it's cold today. It still has icicles on the, on the hood there. It's a cold day. Heaters work well. We've had it, um, we had it on high for a while, but basically we're in in the day with it on low. And with some of the vents closed, it's gotten so warm. Um, but it's still not even 15 degrees and but inside the cab. It's definitely warm jackets are off We're uh, having a good time
differential. Has a little whiny noise when it's in four wheel drive. Um, not alarming, but just noticeable. The glass enclosure really reflects a lot of sun. If the sun is out, 